Hello darling, so Sephora is about to have their spring sale. I believe it starts on April 14 and today's video I am I'm doing this full face of makeup using my favorite products from Sephora. So these are my Sephora recommendations for the sale and these products are not new um, but they are still um, still the best in the market and these items if I were to lose them I would repurchase them again I would have these items in my cart right now so that as soon as the sale starts I would check out and I thought I would um, not just show you the products but I want to apply them and tell you why I like them and for you to see them in action because that those are my favorite videos it's like I want to see why you like them like show me put it on and tell me why so that's what I'm doing let's get to applying this makeup and I we're gonna start with Dior foundation so this foundation is in the color 3n this is another product that I do recommend. It's got slanted, um, the brush is slanted on both ends. This is something that I did not know when this came out. So here we go. Here's the foundation. That is 3N. Okay. back in there <laughs> I should have scored it here because now it's like I need to be switching hands okay so this is 3N I am usually a 3N in Dior foundations so if you what two three pound pumps or did I do four I don't remember okay this is a medium cover foundation and the reason I like it is because when I wear it like it looks when you put it on it looks like a normal good foundation um, that it does not so I only have moisturizer on my face no primer in this channel we don't use primers for high-end foundations so um, so any foundation that I would recommend to you, I like it because it looks good without a primer. Okay, there we go. Now this is a medium cover, so it's not going to cover everything on your face. Like if you have blemishes or hyperpigmentation, it's not going to cover. So that's 3N in the Dior Matte. Next. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and um, this is so in my on my eyes on my eyebrows so far I have the Patrick Ta um, laminating gel okay the next eyebrow stuff is this these are pomades I like pencils like this is a very popular pencil but I hardly have eyebrows so I need more product like this is good for that girl who has eyebrows but just wants to shape them a little bit that would be good um, okay so 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 far I only have this in my eyebrows just to comb it up and then I'm gonna go into this one this is in the color 3 light brown warm light brown number 3 and that's what that this is what it looks like so I'm going to do this. Um, this is just um, a Morphe brush, eyebrow brush. And the reason I like this is because it lasts all day. 
one two the color the undertone is very nice okay you know what i in my previous video i'm gonna roll today so i just uploaded my chanel video um le beige the foundation i just uploaded that a few minutes ago and then i got to um recording this one and in that video i spoke about this oh shit i was gonna switch it okay so that is okay i'm gonna go on this just because i want to show you this other product here and this is um from tarte it's called big eagle and this one is in the color medium brown that's what that looks like and this is the the cover for it and um, they are very similar so this is the benefit and this is the tart benefit they're both let me see okay um, so this is medium brown and this is warm light brown both of these products are really good I like both I use them so whatever so I want to show you both of them And eyebrows is one of my thorn in my thighs. So I talk quite a bit about eyebrows here because I'm always searching for something that will help my eyebrows. And at the moment, I'm thinking that this these ones are super good. Okay, so that's the Tarte. And I'm going to finish up with the Benefit on this side. Now this, oh my God, like my eyebrows are just, every day, every day it's different. My eyebrows are, okay. I'm gonna try to do the same thing. I did on the other side. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, I can look how different they are. Like, holy crap. Okay, so is this one darker than this one? Yeah, this one is like a more um, deeper brown. This one has a little more grayish to it. Darlene, if you have, if you struggle with your eyebrows, if you're on the struggle train with me in terms of eyebrows, put a comment below and put a, um, um, an emoji, if you can, put an emoji of like the, uh, the bow or something, the cute little bow emoji, um, cause I know I'm not the only one and because I've struggled for so many years. Like, oh, I'm always, like, I've been doing makeup for so long since, like, MAC came. Because MAC is Canadian. So MAC was all, you know, the big thing, right? Um, and um, so I've been doing eyebrows. Well, Well, back then, eyebrows were not so important. So I'm going in with the Tarte one because I realized that that's a little lighter, I mean darker, and we want to just darken this up a little bit. Look at how different they still look. Wow. Seriously, like, 
Never. And okay, I'm gonna use another one. So if you are in the struggle bus with me with eyebrows, let me know in the comment section because um I'm always struggling and my channel is to help myself and to show you how I am finding resolutions to my problems and um, I will show you the eyebrow stuff that I've come across and if you know of some great products also put them in the in the comment section so we can all learn from each other and see there's always one that's like way different concealer is next the Huda Beauty concealer is good because it's a full cover concealer and that's the one I'm gonna use actually no, okay here's the NARS one I'm gonna go in with the NARS just to shape the eyebrows because I think that these two concealers are good for that uh, my NARS is in the color custard and the the Huda is Okay, we'll check that later. So now these two concealers, the difference between these two is that this one is like a um, more harder consistency. This is more liquidy. So for the purpose of shaping the eyebrows, this would be good. And I'm going in with my favorite brush. This is an all times favorite um, concealer brush. You will always see it in my channel, unless I can't find it at the time of filming. So I'm going to go really um, opaque here for now. At this point, you can actually um, do some more shaping to your eyebrows. Still not going to, they're not going to look the same. Okay, so um, yeah, this NARS concealer is the best one for shaping the eyebrows. Uh, now for under eye, I would say that this Huda one is good and I'll tell you the color. So this is in the color Nugget 3.5G is what this is a full cover concealer as well. And I'm gonna go all over here. I like how this is like a yellow undertone because that brightens my skin. Depending on your undertone is what, um, is, is the undertone of concealer that you should use. Like for some people, they need to use pink. Pink works for them. For me, it's yellow. Pink does not work for me. Like it does nothing for me. And we're just spreading that around. Um, for the eye, because the eye is, I have a dry patch right here, so we're just going to ignore that. This area here is usually more pigmented, more, it's like a darker color for mo most of us, or it's pink. So we want to um, use a um, concealer that's going to cover all that, right? It also, also depending on the, the foundation that you're using, because if you're going with, with a really um, dark, I mean, um, a light cover foundation, 
um, then you want to match that concealer. Or you can go with a deep, um, with a um, uh, um, full cover uh, concealer and lighter on your face. You can do that as well, which is what I what I just did. So also, darling, in my videos, I sometimes like in my previous video, I did not go. I sometimes I don't apply my makeup in the order that we're used to seeing because. The purpose of my videos is to review the products. Not only, uh, it's not only a tutorial, like a, a makeup tutorial, but it's also looking at how the product performs. And that's why I may do things in different orders. Like for example, I, sometimes I'll do my, my lips right now. Maybe I should do that. Because at this point I do my lips so that I can observe the lipstick for the rest of the makeup application. So that's why I do things in different orders. Okay, now in terms of uh, lipstick, okay, you know what, I'm going to um, set this this time actually, because I'm not gonna go in with another layer of concealer, I don't think, because I do have a, um, a full cover concealer now. Okay, so for um, setting powder, the best setting powder in the market. Is this one and I sometimes use other ones because I want to finish them up you know but if I want a flawless uh, makeup look this is what I go for da Vinci okay so I'll tell you in a second what color this is or what shade And the reason I like this is because it is, it, it's not drying. The Huda powder does not work for me. It is too drying. Um, but this one, so this, this has like, uh, has different colors. Sorry, I don't, okay, this has never happened before. Okay, so continuing on, uh, I had a delivery, so um, I just had to step off for a sec. Okay, so see how good this contours? So you can, yeah, Patrick did good with this, and I did. I was like, when I swatched it at Sephora, I was not thrilled with the that grayish undertone because I had tried it with another brand and it did not work i thought that it didn't go with my skin you know okay so i'm just gonna do it there and over here and let's take some out from here so this brush i recommend it a hundred percent So for this contour, I would say only apply it where you really want that um, contouring thing. Um, and okay, because if I apply this over here, over here, um, it's going to look muddy. So even when you apply it here and here, you got to be careful with it. Um, you got to watch it as you are applying it. Because um, if you put too much, it might go muddy, I believe. And the reason I like this brush is because you can like move it in different directions to get precisely where you want to. I've applied a lot here 
and okay i'm gonna just get over here but okay um let me see okay i'm gonna use that same brush for the other color for the um for the powder okay so this brush it is dense from the from the middle here is dense from here is looser so this is like a bigger so there there was some careful planning with this brush that's why it is a very good tool because here if you want to really go here you can do it with with this more dense part of it and then if you want to um flare it out you turn it around you know and then over here it's like and and then you can also go like it's like like okay this would be a brush that you would also use for that but this is so um fluffy that it would be harder to be to apply a concentrated amount of product okay now i'm going to go in with the other side and but um his his newer brush so double-ended one is better because you can use this end for the for the uh cream and the other end which looks I think it looks kind of like this and this you can use for the powder side so because I only have this I'm gonna go in here and you can can you see how this it has like that golden undertone up in the powder and here is gray so you have those two undertones two different undertones in this palette that is why I think it's good so I'm just going to go a little bit on here to blend it and just like a little bit so that it's not so gray. The See how nice the complexion is looking? Um, okay, so for this is one of my favorite items. I know you cannot get it anymore in a palette like this but you can get the single colors and today i'm going to go with this pink one right here uh, with okay these are other good this is also you can use it instead of this because this will give you the same application okay so i'm going to go in with the pink and i'm going to do the the bra the uh cream so i this is called she's a doll she's a doll and it's in the singles as well so there's the color it is such a beautiful pink um i know that this product are not brand new but I don't think there is much any any anything much better that has been released maybe the one size by Patrick star um, which has three I don't know like this product I've talked about it many times on my channel and he when this one this was the first one this this was the first palette that he released of blushes and it was in and out of the store and online and as soon as i saw it i knew i had to i knew it was going to sell out and it did and then the following year um patrick i'm going to go in with the with the powder now and i'm going to use it this side of the brush so uh oh crap okay I know some of you are going to be like, oh, you're supposed to do it the other way. The powder first and then the blush. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to just, <laughs> I did go heavy on this. Okay, so then he released the, the, he released it again, like the palette looked the same, but I have a review on 
the second one um on my channel and that was just not good oh my god i don't know the formula was not the same i tried it <laughs> i tried it because i was so in love with this one and i'm like oh i want to try it um yeah but it was complete okay now i'm gonna go in um with the uh the cream again Patrick Ta, another great brand that releases few and far between products, but they're good, except for that flop. Oh, and I, actually, his foundation, do not pick it up. The one that comes in this con um, packaging. For, okay, for some people, it did work, which I was shocked, but for me, it was an absolute fail absolute fail like it looked like paint when i was applying it it was just dragging around like paint okay so and in this video i am going to actually do uh an eyeliner because i always seem to forget in my last video i forgot and it just looked bad okay oh but actually i have to do my i'm gonna do this one next and we're going to do what so this has like okay i'm gonna go with this one right here sorry this one right here um does it have a number a name let me see in case you want to okay a more Yeah, Amour is what it's called. And the reason I like this is because it, it is an everyday wearable palette. You can do like a very subtle look or you can go like um, smoky and dramatic with it. And then you can use these if you want here and there. I don't use so much glitter, but you can make it bold. This could be like a special occasion palette or an everyday running errands palette. That is what I like. The versatility of this product is what I love. Um, these are actually, I think Sephora, well, Sephora Canada does carry Morphe. And these are the vegan, pro vegan um, brushes. Um, I have several of them. I have, this is the foundation, and these are the eyes. And I used, um, I think I used uh, one for the eyebrows from this line. These are really good. I'm, I am actually use them right now because I want to, they really pack the eye. Okay, so I'm going to start with a lighter. Okay, I'm going to start with the lightest one. So this one right here, I'm going to go in with, no, I'm going to go in with that dark one, um, the one that I talked about. It's like a burnt orange. Keep it over here. The, also the colors, the blended colors in here really nicely done like and also they suit every skin color all of them do so my plan at the moment is to do um, several videos leading up to the Sephora sale. Videos of 
the products that I would recommend, that I would repurchase again. If I didn't have them, I would repurchase them. Like if I lost these products, I would repurchase them. So um, I thought that would be a good way to show you or to give you some ideas as to what's, what is worth it at Sephora. Do you see how this brush really packed in the color? Um, also, this other, um, the Aerial. Yeah, Sephora also carries this one. The Aerial and Morphe um, brush. This is also a very good one. Um, this has been out for many years, and I can't believe the price has not gone down. It is a very popular set of brushes. But these ones, the Vegan Pro line, are also very good. Um, all the other ones, I would not recommend I don't think okay I'm gonna go in with that same and go here a little bit just at the edge I'm gonna clean that up um I'm gonna use the other one the fluffy one And with nothing on the brush, I am just um, blending it. This brush does an awesome job at blending. You could just walk out with this. This is enough of a look. So I'm grabbing a little more. Okay, um, let me see. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I think I'm gonna leave it for now. And I am going to not forget to do an eyeliner this time because in previous, in the previous video, my eyelashes were not looking good. So this is the stamp. This is not from Sephora, it's from Amazon and it's a stamp i've used this in other videos but um i just it just saves you time you know instead of drawing the wing this would just do it for you you see oh one one is one is straight out and the other one's up holy crap can i save it I don't know okay oh and then on the other side is the tip so you can draw the rest oh and this one comes with another one another like the stamp is a little smaller one is smaller and the other one is bigger I'm gonna go a little bit out here so that stamp you could either leave it as it, it it stamps or you can modify it and with eyeliner you can plan what you want to do but then it decides what it wants to do look how horrible that turned out I don't know what I'm going to do now. 
I'm going to have to go in with a concealer, but I have to find a new brush. Okay, so here's a brush. And I'm going to... Let me see something. Because the eyelashes I'm going to use are pretty dramatic, so... Okay. I'm going to try to save it and even it out because the eyebrows I'm going to use are really dramatic and I know that it requires a dramatic um, eyeliner right now because I don't have eyelashes. It's going to look like a dramatic wing. But when I was, um, this morning I was editing my previous video and I did not put a wing and I was like, damn, I should have put a really bold wing. So this time, this looks really nice. So this time I'm like, I'm doing it. So it's Friday. Happy Friday. If you see this video when it goes up, because it's going up tonight. <laughs> I'm going to, as soon as I film it, I'm going to edit it. Because I, um, I have not uploaded in a long time. Because I've been so busy with work and other stuff. And so um, now that I, I have a breather from that, I am planning to upload a videos. And my idea is to... Um, um, show you what I love from Sephora through like all of my collection everything that I love from my collection That is from Sephora. I want to show you so that you can You know see it. so that's why they're not going to be brand new products. They could be like I don't know like um Like old like for example, um This one or the Huda one is not a re new release, but these are products that I would purchase again if they would, if I would lose them or something, I would repurchase these products again. Now, the reason I like this eyeliner is because it has the ability to create a big, bold eyeliner without you having to do like go over and over and over and try to like put so much product in it, you know, like it, it gives you a good head start with that stamp. Um, now in terms of a, an equivalent from Sephora, I can't think of one. So in addition to uh, Sephora recommendation, I'm also um, showing you um, a makeup tutorial, application and all that. Um, I know that the eyeliner is such a, a big thing. Um, now, um, in terms of, okay, so, so mascara, come hell or high water, Cali Rye is one that I've been, I, I'm still using the sample size. And what I like about it is that it doesn't transfer unless, you know, I move my, my lashes when it's still wet, right? And, okay, so the eyelashes are on and we're gonna continue. I'm gonna apply some under, I um I'm gonna use this brush because I I know it's a little big for the under eye, but I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna go with the darkest color because we want this to be a nice smoky. So see, this is like a it's a 
it's got a hint of pink in there so all of these colors they all go together you don't have to um, worry about um, the colors not matching or going together or like like you're not gonna have a like a green and a red you know? there we go look how much better that looks like it just makes your eyes so big like I'm gonna put it over here as well and I'm just stamping it in there because um, that is it's better and then you can swipe it see how beautiful these colors are it, that's why this is a major recommendation I know it's not brand new but I can't think of another palette that's recently released or released after this that beats this in terms of the versatility it provides and the colors are so beautiful and I am not gonna do a shimmer I don't I don't think I'll do a shimmer these two um, the blush um, you have to get them individually uh, but she's a doll the blush she's a doll I recommend that one the pink one is is beautiful so this time I did a bold eyeliner so that and I actually put put some time into the eyelashes sometimes I don't and then I, I realize oh my god okay okay so and then we're doing the lips okay darling for lips I'm going to recommend minis because they are the best the best lip items that I have applied on my lips I will apply them and you'll see but th these are the um, Pat McGrath mini set this is in the color divine rose and this one is as well this is the lip liner it comes in a set of three um, I think it's like $33 Canadian worth it it's worth it the lip her lip liners on their own they're like $40 and they last a long time so there's a lip liner divine rose and i'm gonna go in with them this is like a beautiful pink color and it's got like shimmers in it. Okay. So there it is, these two minis. I am glad I have them because otherwise I would be putting them in my cart right now. <laughs> if this was running out, I would put this in my cart right now so that I can get it with the sale. They are great. And, and they. I try to get this for two consecutive sales and they were sold out. And finally, one time I they were there I'm like I'm getting it they sell out quick it's a good one okay so it's got like little shimmers but it, it's like a satin shimmer it's, they're so they don't look like glitters at all it they are amazing okay so I think we're done I think we're done with the look darling I hope you enjoyed it